is Cameron Chai bringing another episode of Azo TV, and I'm speaking to Tom Levesque, who's working with Emina, and he's going to tell us about their MyBots. Thank you, Cameron. I do have the pleasure of working with Amina Technologies on some really novel uh, products. These are nano manipulators, and they are, as you can see, they're very, very small. Uh, they have the ability to move over large ranges, uh, and they are virtually untethered, uh, which means they're not anchored down. There is a small umbilical connection to them that provides uh, information and power to them, but they can operate either in an electron microscope or in an optical microscope environment uh, and move untethered, unencumbered around the sample. So a lot of flexibility, very, very small size, and uh, novel technology. So if you want to step across here and see how they look when they're in a more real environment, you'll be able to see a microscope, an optical microscope set up with uh, two probes, two MyBot uh, manipulators uh, placed over an LED wafer that can be probed and powered. Um, they are working teams of up to four. Uh, again, you'll notice that they are not physically anchored to that substrate, but they can move around it independently. And perhaps, Tom, you could show us the controller? And show us. This is a, something that almost everybody under the age of 40 would be intimately familiar with. Uh, it looks an awful lot like what you might have in your living room. And the operation of the probe is, uh, is intuitive. Uh, we can simply control which one of our MyBot we are manipulating and up and down and, and uh, translation and rotation are all done with a uh, very typical game controller. Uh, again, uh, I think everyone under 30, did I say 30 or 40? I think 40. it's 40 now. Uh, we'll be able to operate this product. All right, maybe we'll get Benoit to give us a little demonstration of how it works. Yes, Ben, Benoit, please show them how these work. So here we, we have two MyBots nano manipulator who are um, aligned on a LED um, wafer for, made for demonstration. And um, each probe is bringing um, current and connected to the ground. And when I put down the probe, I can actually light up the LED. So it's precisely positioned on the device and make it very convenient to test uh, different kinds of microchips. Okay. So now I will, uh, I will move the, the MyBot on the right at high speed. So you can see that we can more or less move very large range displacements on large wafer and then go slower to make finer motion and position the probe precisely on one of the chips. So now we can, uh, if we want, move the, the probe very high up to 90 degree, move the whole MyBots, go to another location and put it down again very quickly, reduce the speed and go fine. And Tom, what do people typically use these MyBots for? Um, MyBot manipulators can be used in a variety of environments. Anytime you want to position some samples or move nanowires or nanoparticles or probe, uh, probe a device or move cells, anytime that there, you want to do a job that's too small for your hands and tweezers, these devices allow you to have that kind of precision and control over those small samples. So in electron microscopes, SEMS and FIBS, or in an optical microscope where you're trying to move something or sense something at a very small scale. And so people could actually put them inside the, their electron microscopes? Oh, for sure. These are vacuum compatible. Uh, they easily go in and out of an electron microscope in a matter of minutes. Uh, there's no large uh, fixturing devices that are necessary with these, uh, these MyBots themselves. All right, Tom, and if anybody wants more information about the MyBots, they can find those on the Amina website, I presume? Amina website is Amina, I-M-I-N-A dot C-H. All right, Tom, thanks for taking a few minutes to tell us about the Amina MyBots. Thank you, Cameron.